Hey guys, Joshua Peterson here, Peterson Electric. It is almost July of 2020. Uh, I did a video on this just a couple months ago on the rough end. I explained a few layouts of this basement. Um, I don't know if it was probably back in April, but by the time I uh, download these videos, it might be close to 2021. Uh, the video is going to be based on with my SEO, just a uh, um, trim out on a basement. But this is really going to be listed also as a lighting ideas. Um, this is some of the stuff I really enjoy doing. So uh, let me walk you through real quick. This is a kitchenette. And mind you, if you call it a kitchenette versus a wet bar, it is different in code. Okay. So kitchenette is described as you're going to have a fridge and a microwave. Um, so you, and, a, and maybe a disposal, you better have about three circuits sitting there, not one. Um, but if you do a wet bar, it's usually one circuit at the counter only, unless the inspector starts to say, hey, it looks like you could have a microwave that's built in. You cannot count that as your kitchen counter or your a wet bar counter. Um, so anyways, uh, some of the stuff we did here is just general lighting that you see. I do love this right here. This is a cove heater. And so these are designed uh, to stay up high above a balance. Real tricky to get them to mount in. Um, I do like how the others trimmed out, but the way these studs turned out in this wall, it was a little more difficult to get all that redone after the fact when we started roughing in. But this is probably a little bit more my favor in how to do that. You can paint the cover uh, to match the wall, but you cannot paint that balance up there. Um, and those are nice. They're 750 watts for a five footer. Uh, so I've got three of them at uh, 2250 watts on the 120 amp circuit because we did one over here. Mind you, your thermostats have to be at a different location up here. Um, so we have a ceiling vent. This is just a small bedroom. I like to do all of my closets with lights. And I like to do them with these cantrims. I, I don't blind you as soon as I do it, but these cantrims are rated for indoor and outdoor. And they look like that. And also for wet and damp area and closets. So that's a Minora trim I love so much. You can see it over here as well. Uh, I love to put in an outlet down low for my bidets. I always keep that in mind for resell value. Here's a GFI. There's only one sink, so one plug. You don't need two. Over here, if you're doing a heat fan light combo kit, this is a fan and light, and this is the heater. You have to have a dedicated 20 amp circuit just for those two switches alone. Now this is a shower and this is the vanity you're seeing right here. So if you said I want fan light different, you could have had a five game box just in this location because you could separate your fan and light here. I like to have those on together. Uh, that way people aren't tempted to um, just turn on the fan and not have the light on. Um, so right here, this is a TV mounted outlet. Don't forget those. Um, Thermostat in here, of course, controls your two balances. With the cove up there, you're not going to have a thermostat on cove, and most of them are not going to be Wi-Fi with the remote, but here's going to be your thermostat right here. Keep in mind, you do not want them underneath the heater. You want them away so the room fills up with heat. Okay. Um, this right here is a little cove. It's becoming real popular that people are doing with kiddos under the stairway. You do have the drywall for fire protection. I put an outlet up high so the kids can play on their iPad, but yet it's not going to be down low into their pillows if they put a big pillow area. This is probably their TV area, so I put a, a little outlet right here and a switch for the can. This is probably my favorite part of the job. I love doing LED and direct lighting tape. I did it right in there. In fact, I did it right up here. Okay. There is a difference of cool versus warm a lot. It's more difficult to get them warm, but the cool turned out really well. I like these niches. He bought this, I believe, at Home Depot. I wish I could show you, but in my rough video, it did it was a blue or a purple niche design already there. We put and it was real smart how they did. They left me a gap of three inches, put little two pieces of wood there, and I could slide it flat. And I made up all my connections, and then came up here. So that is going to be right here. All three areas I'll turn off. Hold on one second. So you can see just these three indirectly lit up and not lit up. Very, very nice feature. I, I enjoy doing that. Here's my little secret here. 
uh, power comes into its own circuit for just the fridge outlet in here because they are putting a little freezer right in that corner. Keep that in mind, you can do a freezer. Um, and then this power comes into here to a transformer. And there's an LED transformer that fits in a four gang box back to back. I like to keep them a little bit more open. Go ahead and let my inspector get mad and flunk me. Could care less, I'll come and tighten up screws. But I like my transformers to vent the heat. This is an unfinished area. If a kid gets their hand in there, they're not gonna get their fingers in there and get shocked. It's pretty much impossible, but you gotta get all the screws off. But right here is my switch that turns my transformer on and off for that indirect lighting. Okay, so I really love that feature, how that turned out. Smoke detectors at the bottom of the stairs and a seal smoke combo over here for um, your bedroom. And then they're gonna put a barn door. If you're doing a barn door, keep in mind the rule of six foot and no further. You're gonna to wanna to have that thing further away or you're gonna cover your outlet. Okay, so this still meets that six foot rule. He can whip out his tape measure all day long. But the point is, is that when that door opens, it will not hit what's plugged in. I did put a, a, these circuits down low at a 20 amp rated because this is an exercise room. And if you got a treadmill, you better have a couple outlets dedicated for that area. And if you go, oh, I changed my mind and want my treadmill over there, and that's a 15 amp circuit, you're gonna pop that arc fault or you're gonna pop the breaker just an overcurrent protection. So make sure that's 12 gauge 20 amp there. Other than that, we put in a 60 amp uh, or 60 inch five foot Fan, I really like this fan. It's gonna move very, very well. Keep in mind when you're wiring up your fan, this has a remote. So when I shoot, shut this switch on and off, it's, it's by itself. This is a dummy switch. Because if they decided to not have a remote on that fan, then that fan itself um, would end up needing only one wire up. We always wire those with two. And then in that remote, actually, it's not remembering to turn back on. You have to keep the switch on. So they did want a remote on that. Yep. So the other switch you have, just because you might need it, you always wire that with a three wire. And then here is a little bit different. This is a dummy switch as well, because there's a red versus a black, and this is just the light. There is no dim. And then this fan is the rheostat. Um... Other than that, yeah, the last thing is just keeping sure that that vanity is going to line up perfect. Because we talked about that, but the sink guy is going to swag over, I think, his plumbing to the center. Um, because that, that, that is very crucial, knowing that our plumber is going to line up. So the sink, what, what was told to me, was still center of this area, of the center of my boss right there. It's just to the left, but he'll probably put it under there. I think there's drawers to the right of it is what was happening. So yeah, when we uh, rough in, we're after the plumber, but when we trim out, we're usually before the plumber. Um, other than that, guys, it turned out really well. Uh, so keep in mind, heat, TV plugs, LED and direct lighting, other types, heat fan light combo kit, none of that is to code. That is all extra. The code is very generic in three volt amperes per square foot in 220.42. So when you're bidding out and you're like using the first guy as your example of all the stuff you might want, and then you get six bids to waste really a lot of your time, but then you end up going, boy, I'm more confused with six bids. And the last guy's like bidding because you're narrowing down your price and you're like, okay, I just want this stuff. Well, of course the last guy's a lot cheaper, right? Because the first guy like me that comes out ends up telling you everything you should be doing. But in this job, it was really nice working with these customers. Um, they definitely said, hey, cove heaters, we would like to do not down low because it's a space saver. Because if you have baseboard heating down low, remember, you lose a foot off of the wall. Usually the method is putting a brick there. Um, but yeah, we did a lot of extra lighting, a lot of extra stuff. It's only about an 850 square foot basement, but we had 65 openings and we did set a panel. And a lot of you say, well, why didn't you put the panel in the closet? Because you're not allowed to. So, and it was really difficult getting through that way to the garage. Otherwise, we would have dragged circuits all the way around to put it in storage that way. So that's why they said, let's just put it there and put a picture over it. And that's usually what you do in a bedroom. Um, other than that, yeah, I love how that turned out. You can see how indirect that is. My wife had a great idea last comment was to get a, a frosted glass, just build a piece of cardboard, take that down, get a frosted glass cut, and then Velcro, you know, put some rubber pieces and Velcro it and just put it right there, and that would diffuse it. And how cool that would be to put your name there or get it etched in too, that would look really neat. 
Um, but yeah, guys, thanks for joining us. Um, hopefully this will help you out. Oh, sorry, one other thing. Make sure that when you're calling in a bedroom, you have an egressible window. That code has really changed for firefighters to get out of there with their air tank on. Um, otherwise, you cannot call it a bedroom. It has to have a closet, smoke detector, as well as an arc fault breaker, and the fact that it has an egressible window. Those four things. Thanks, guys, for joining us. Have a great week.